Hey you guys, so I'm back with my um, Accutane one month um, video. Um, I'm not, I'm still not sure what is going on with these glasses. I'm going to take them off for this video because that glare is ridiculous. Okay, so I have been on Accutane for mm, a little over a month. I would say probably like about, sorry, um, probably like about five weeks now. Um, so the first, within the first few days, I started to get a lot of dryness. Let me see. Um, I started to get a lot of like dryness and peeling like right around here and then it would spread up here and then spread over here and spread over here. The past week, I have not had any peeling. Like my skin hasn't been oily by any means, but it has stopped like peeling I don't know if it's because I'm just using you know a good moisturizer but it's not peeling in the morning when I wake up but like it's not oily it just feels like normal like it doesn't feel like overly dry it just kind of feels normal I guess I don't know um but my face does look a lot less red and angry than it did before um, so I've completely changed up my whole skincare routine. Um, I am using the Aveeno Calm and Restore cleanser. It's like $12 at Walgreens, I think. It's like a big, like, I was about to say spray bottle. You know what I mean, with the pump. Um, I use that because that really calms down the redness. Um, like after I wash my face with it like there's just no redness like I mean yeah there's like scarring and like a couple you know like cysts still over here whatever um but they're not like bright red like you can see it but it's not like angry looking you know what I mean <clears throat> which reminds me I have to go get some more of that because I probably have like another two days worth left and that's it um and then as far as like moisturizer goes so I use that cleanser in the morning and at night and then as far as like moisturizing goes um, I'm really stocked up on like different kinds of moisturizers. I'm just making sure that the moisturizers I am using are fragrance free um, and like oil free. Um, I have some Bosha moisturizers. I have an Olay and Neutrogena. Um, I've been using a Kiehl's moisturizer. Um, I'm using SkinCeuticals right now. Um, in the beginning I was using, um, boots number seven. I'm so just like here and there, you know, if I see like a root out, if I see like a really good deal, you know, a moisturizer, um, I will go ahead and pick it up. I just finished up using a Kiehl's serum. It was the, um, like midnight perfect serum, something like that. Um, I just finished that up last night. And then today I started using a SkinCeuticals like lipid moisturizer. So I wash, moisturize, and then I put sunscreen on. If the moisturizer does not have SPF in it, I put on um, another sunscreen. Right now I'm just using like the Walgreens brand um, regular like sports sunscreen because I actually bought that a few months ago. It was on clearance for like 30, 40 cents I wanna say. So I bought like five of them that was like all they had left so that's what I'm using as a sunscreen if my moisturizer does not have one in it I'll put that uh, sunscreen over the moisturizer and then I'm just using like a regular um, EOS lip balm during the day at night it's pretty much the same routine the same cleanser the same moisturizer except I don't put on sunscreen um, and then I use the Laneige uh, lip mask. Um, I The first one I was using was the apple lime. That was my favorite. I'm using the grapefruit one right now. Um, and I just keep it really simple. Just cleanse, moisturize, sunscreen if there's no SPF in your moisturizer, and a good thick lip balm. And that's pretty much it. Oh, <clears throat> another thing. So my lips were have been peeling really really bad and when i say peeling i mean like that shit's been nasty like peeling cracking okay so i'm gonna get close recently right here my lip was split 
like all the way not like all the way through like you know you know what I mean like the skin was split when I would smile or laugh it would hurt really bad and it would start bleeding again and it's been like that for like the last couple weeks so I've just been keeping like aquaphor Vaseline my Laneige lip mask just caked on 24 7 finally like two days ago it was gone like it just went away and I would like I caught myself I was like wait a minute I'm smiling and it doesn't even hurt <coughs> but um so that's been good that's gone away now let me get some water right quick because there's something else that I also wanted to kind of throw out there sorry I keep coughing because my throat keeps getting dry okay so <clears throat> as you know when you're on Accutane you have to have um, blood work and a pregnancy test done every 30 days so I went what well, today is Friday I went last Tuesday I'm tripping y'all yes last Tuesday I went for my <laughs> I'm like wait a minute because I felt like it hasn't been a week and a half since I went but I think it really has anyway so I had my 30-day check-in last Tuesday um I got my blood work done my pregnancy test obviously it's negative I'm still taking the exchange but one thing was my lipids my triglycerides came back really high now the normal range is under 150 for your triglycerides mine was at like 387 and i was fat you're supposed to fast and if you don't fast then it'll raise your triglyceride levels and like basically just fuck everything up but i was fasting she told me to to fast they told me not to eat anything after midnight the night before which i didn't and my triglyceride levels were extremely high now um accutane i had now mind you at this appointment you know i had already been on the accutane for like 30 days okay <clears throat> accutane raises your triglyceride levels it's not permanent it'll go away once you stop taking the medication and you know once it like leaves your system your cholesterol goes back to normal your triglycerides go back to normal everything will just kind of bounce back and return to its normal state so i was but i was afraid because what happened was i went to go get sorry hang on baby duty um i try to like keep him comfortable in his bouncer while i'm doing the videos um so what the hell what is wrong with this anyway yeah baby um so what was i saying oh okay so what happened okay i'll take it off come to mama come to mama so what happened you guys was you know i went on tuesday for my blood work and usually they get the results back like the next day so i go in on tuesday for the blood work and um I got the results back on um, because I have the app like the like the doctor's app so I see my test results as soon as they you know read them <clears throat> I got them back Tuesday night it was like between five and six o'clock and my appointment was at like eight o'clock Tuesday morning so I got them back that night and I was like okay you know the doctor will probably get them back tomorrow or Thursday or whatever Wednesday rolls around I don't get a phone call Thursday rolls around I don't get a phone call Friday rolls around I'm like okay well maybe I'll give them a call you know maybe they like forgot about me I don't know what's going on so I called and my my dermatologist nurse which is not her nurse because I know her nurse and that was not her nurse's voice um her nurse answered because she was already gone for the day and she pulls up my test results and she goes yeah I see him right here but um she hasn't looked at him yet 
she was like but your triglycerides are really high so i don't know if she's gonna want to keep you on the medicine or not she was like and i don't want to answer your questions for you on um i pledge and then send your prescription over to the pharmacy if she's just gonna take you off the medication and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I've been on Accutane for a month now, and the Accutane is going to raise my triglyceride levels. So, of, of course, they're not going to be normal. They're not supposed to be normal. And she was like, yeah, I just don't want to take any chances. But she sounded really unsure, and, like, she kept saying, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be this high. Like, she just didn't fucking know anything, okay? Like, this bitch was a fucking idiot. So, and I was kind of pissed off because I had taken my last Accutane pill on Thursday with my lunch. And that was it. And I told her that. I said, so you're going to sit here and make me miss three fucking doses, okay? And she was like, well, it's still going to be in your system, you know, by next week. Like, it's only a few days you're missing. Like, it's, it's not going to be that bad. Honestly, I was really tempted to just order it online because you can, you're not supposed to, but like, you can order, you can order ice truck now online. It's just dangerous. You can do it. And, um, I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it the right way. So then Monday rolled around and I got a notification, um, from Walgreens that my prescription, um, had a refill on it for the Accutane. And I was like, what? So then I go to, um, log into my iPledge Monday morning and it was ready for me to answer my questions and I was like okay so I went ahead and did it and then um after I did that I was able to go into the Walgreens app and just push through my refill and that was it and then they called me a few hours later and said come pick it up so <coughs> caught my throat that was hectic that was very very frustrating um because like I do like I do not want to come off this medication early. I want to stick this out because I genuinely feel like, you know, this is this is it for me. Like this is my last hope. There's nothing else. There's no other road for me to take at this point. So, um Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's getting better, you know, it's like I said, my face isn't as red and angry. My chin has cleared up. My nose has cleared up. We're just going to stick it out, you know, and wait and see what else. Um, so because my triglycerides were that high, they called me back like late Monday afternoon and said that they want me to come back and get more blood work done in two weeks instead of in a month. Um, so they can like keep a better eye on it and she said she wants me to fast for 12 hours before I go in like don't just you know go in at 8 o'clock in the morning you know and not eat anything after midnight like do like a full 12 hour fast before I go in <clears throat> I mean I guess you know all I can do really is pray at this point that you know it's not going to be high because like, I've already come this far. You know, it's already been like five weeks. I'm not going to give up now. I'm not going to stop now. This is it for me. Um, so, yeah. We don't give up, do we, baby? Do we, baby? So, um, yeah. Another thing is the sun. I fucking hate the sun. It burns my eyes so bad, you guys so 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 bad like it's to the point where I have to wear my sunglasses inside like in my house I'm fine because I have blackout curtains like in my bedroom and the living room and everything and the window in the kitchen is not big enough for direct sunlight to like peek in but like in the store like and I was sitting in my kids doctor's office earlier um it's it's bad enough to where like I feel the need to wear sunglasses inside because my eyes burn like it's like I walk outside and I'm like I can't do this and I walk right back inside it's just like my eyes are like somebody's holding like a lighter up to my eyes burn 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 um another thing I don't know if this is associated with it or not but like body odor let's just talk about this right quick I've never been somebody that stinks, okay? I take a shower every other day, wash my hair every other day. That's another thing, my hair. 
that we'll talk about in just a minute. Um, you know, I wear deodorant, you know, perfume. Like, I've never, never really stunk. Um, recently, though, over the past few weeks, I've noticed that, um, you know, there's some days where we all just don't feel like taking a shower. You know, you've had a really long day. You know, your day kind of drug out longer than you wanted to. You're ready to get to bed. You're exhausted physically, mentally, and emotionally. And you just ain't got time for that shit right now. So you'll take one tomorrow, right? We all have those days. If I do that, if I do not shower every other day like clock, what are you doing? <laughs> if I do not shower, yeah, I'm talking to you. and talking to you. If I do not shower every other day, like and stick to that shit if i'm even one day late i stink like no other and it comes from my armpits i don't know what it is like even if i wear deodorant like okay my deodorant when i okay usually before i start the accutane let's back up before i started the accutane you know i wear deodorant like a regular person every day you know whatever the deodorant would last me all day like there's no problem like i would never develop an odor i was fine but now it's like when I put on deodorant in the morning, probably by about like mid afternoon to dinner time, I start to stink like my armpits, like you can smell it. And I don't know why. Maybe it's the Accutane. That's the only thing I can chalk it up to. Another thing is my hair. Sorry, I'm waiting on my mom to get here. Um... <coughs> Another thing is my hair. My hair is so dry, you guys, because my body has stopped producing oils. <clears throat> my, I mean, I've had, I've had drier hair, okay? Um, but this is just incredibly dry um, to the point where, you know, like I said earlier, when I, I shower every other day, and when I shower, I always wash and condition my hair every, not every single day, like every single time I take a shower, which is every other day. The past few weeks, <coughs> I get in the shower, shave, wash my face, wash my body, and get out. I can't wash my hair. Because it's so dry, I feel like it's just going to kind of make it worse <laughs> if I wash it. Even if I condition it, like, it's, it, it's too dry, I feel like. So, I've been able to go. Like, my hair is not getting greasy like it usually does. It doesn't get itchy after a few days like it usually does. It just kind of stays dry. And I can go up to a week and a half, two weeks without washing my hair. And you would never know. Like, you see me out in public. My hair is not greasy. My hair is kind of fresh looking. It's a little bit dry looking. But, you know, it doesn't look like I have, you know, haven't washed my hair in several days. Um, anyway, I gotta go. My mother just got here to pick up my girls. Oh, baby. I gotta let her in. Um, so I will see you guys in my two-month Accutane update video, which will be in a few weeks. See you guys later. Bye.